It's happy hour at Blue Water Distilling on the Everett waterfront. Okay, ladies, I brought you some fun mocktails over here. This the distillery restaurant was one of the first businesses to believe in the redevelopment dream here and buy in six years ago. A long time coming for owner John Lundeen, anxious to drink in success. I think the winters were the hardest part. That's when, you know, things were just pretty dark and rainy and, and it, was, it was a little harder to perhaps um, just feel that kind of business momentum that you want. It's very exciting to be here on this surprisingly sunny spring day. But spring has arrived on the Everett waterfront and rebirth is underway. Ground broken today on a new 142 room boutique hotel called Indigo. It's a major building block in phase one of this redevelopment that will bring retail, restaurants and 266 apartments. The hotel's developers have properties in New York, London, Shanghai, even Bali. Now, Everett. Architect Craig Davenport explains why this old mill town is being added to the portfolio. They, they saw with the future of Payne Field and the Boeing and, and the recreational boaters and, um, and industries that are coming to Everett that they felt this was a good site. Within 10 years, more restaurants and retail, along with 400 additional housing units, are expected here, bringing 2,100 jobs connected to downtown by this pedestrian bridge being built. Well, yeah, a little mocktail. It all has John yeah. Lundeen excited yeah, for many more sunny nice days ahead. It's going to be incredible. There just isn't a property like this in the, in the Puget Sound area.